Welcome back to the Real Estate Guys radio program. Thanks for tuning in to our very last show of the year. As we approach a new year, we're looking at uh, what some of the folks that uh, we hang out with uh, think about the year and uh, what 2010 is going to be like. Well, it just uh, so happened that uh, we were able to not get to one, but two of the amazing people from the Rich Dad Camp with us today. It's our uh, great pleasure to welcome back to the show one of our favorite real estate investors, Kim Kiyosaki. Hey, Kim. Hello, Robert. Hi, Russell. Hi. Hey, it's great to have you on the program as as always. And uh, oh, it's always fun to be on your show. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're we're you know we're very uh, I would say cautiously optimistic about 2010. I thought Ken really addressed a lot of the uh, the, the the reasons from your vantage point. Uh, it's here. We're about to start a new year. What's on your mind as we approach 2010? Well, I have to say I am I am pessimistic and optimistic. I'm pessimistic that I I think the economy um, unfortunately is going to get worse, and a lot of people are going to be hurt in that. Um, the continuing downturn, but I'm extremely optimistic in terms of the real estate market and the uh, opportunities that are going to be available. Uh, I'll, I'll give you one that we that to- completely uh, gives an example of what I see coming. Uh, we just closed on this deal two weeks ago, and what it is, it's the oldest resort in Arizona, the classic old resort, and the owner went bankrupt. He owned this resort with three golf courses plus two more golf courses at the second oldest resort in Arizona. So these are like the grand dames of Arizona. And when he bought this property uh, back in the early, back in the mid 90s, when all was said and done with renovation and all, he paid 200 million dollars for this pro- these properties. Wow! And we just bought it out of bankruptcy court for 45 million. That's and called that's- a, a sale. That's a huge sale. And don't let, you know, some some people might say, oh, I can afford millions. Forget the millions. It could be a $200,000 single-family house that you are able to purchase for $45,000. Right. You know, it's, it's, those are the type of deals that are out there. And uh, as long as you know where to look, and I I was listening to you talking with Ken, and, you know, Ken talks about having a great team, and this property has a, a really strong team here in Arizona, great track record. But um, that's the kind of things I'm looking for. And this just, I got so excited because I've, we've been looking for a while, you know, to find these type of deals. And this was a real home run for us. Well, you know, that's a, there's a key there. The key is that you've been looking and you've been recognized it's a market that there are going to be opportunities. Uh, there's a lot of folks out there that have quit looking. They, they've, they've thought, well, now's yeah. not the time and real estate's over and I got hurt in the last property. So real estate doesn't make any sense. How do you address uh, those folks? Well, that, that's really interesting because I've heard that as well. People say, oh, you know, they bought when the market was booming, and now they're upside down. They either can't sell their house or they're renting it for less than the mortgage. Um, and they're saying real estate is risky and real estate doesn't work. Well, that's a bunch of hogwash because it's not the real estate. It's the person who owns the real estate and the knowledge that they have that makes the difference. So, Absolutely. you know, somebody could buy a gold coin and lose money, and another person can buy a gold coin and make money. It's all about how smart you are today with the market. And you, i I got to keep up more than, than ever today with all the changes that are going on. And who knows, you know, what the government's going to do. You know, taxes will probably go up. Interest rates will probably go up. Inflation will probably go up. So you just have to get smarter. You just have to get more creative. And that's why, you know, the education is so important. Yeah, it's hugely important, and obviously, uh, at Rich Dad and at Rich Woman, you have always been big proponents of education, but I have to say, probably now more than ever, it's crucial. You could have been less educated in 04 and 05 yeah. and still made money, you know, be, being smart enough to be in real estate, but mostly by blind luck, right? Now you've, Absolutely. you've got, you've really got to get yourself educated. No, that's exactly right. There's a, there's a saying that says, when the going gets weird, the weird turn pro. <laughs> <laughs> and, I think, <laughs> and I think a lot of people, you know, it was real easy to find a deal that made some money. You could flip it and, and you know, make some money and do well. But today, not, not so. It's, you've, you've got to, the, the tougher the times, here, here's, the, here's the optimistic side of it, because some of the challenges people keep talking about, you know, credit is getting harder and harder and harder to get. Well, I'll tell you, when I started investing back in 89, um, I did not have the track record, and I did not have the money, and I did not have any really qualifications, and I had a really hard time going to lenders. So for the first eight years, I had to get very creative, and I did not use a traditional lender for the first eight years of all my investing. So this time right now, as long as you stick with it, as long as you keep getting educated, this is the time 
where your real creativity and innovation comes in. I mean, Ken and I were talking the other day about, you know, how, how to, what we can do to a property because we've lost some tenants because they've lost their job and they had to decide between do I keep the apartment or do I keep the car, and they usually opt for the car. Yep. So we have, we're, we're coming up with just little simple little ideas on how to be more creative, how to get more income, how to attract new tenants. So this is the time where the real estate investor gets really smart. And if you can make it in these times, which I think this is absolutely the, the best time to get going, but if you can use your mind and get creative and innovative, you can do so well. You know, it's uh, it, you just hit the nail on the head. It's exactly what we think people. Are, it's going to take in 2010. Is you got to think differently. You got to be yes. creative. Having the chops of going through eight years without traditional financing. I mean, that, that's awesome. That gives you the the ability to know that hey, when I can get it, I do. But when I I don't need that. Right, 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 right. Absolutely. In fact, Absolutely. last uh, last week we had uh, Wayne Palmer on the show, and uh, really the the whole topic of the show was using creativity to get uh, deals done. And you know, he's a pretty creative guy. Wayne Palmer's fantastic. Yeah, he's uh, he is he has uh, the mind that of someone I've never <laughs> I've never come across before. Yeah, it's uh, it's extraordinary, to, and that's what that's what you need. You need to today. You've got to think differently. You can't just do what everybody does. You've got to get yourself educated, and there's lots of ways to do that. And of course, you've always done an, an excellent job of sharing what you know in a way that people can relate to it, in a way that, that people can get the lesson and take action on it, which is huge. And uh, we're super excited about this event you have coming up. Last time we uh, spoke on the radio, you were just forming this idea to do this three-day, two-and-a-half-day event you're doing, uh, really the first annual uh, Rich Woman International Forum. Tell us about that, Kim. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very excited, and this is, a, um, this is our first, and uh, I, I will start with this. Is the Economist magazine came out with an article recently, and in, in it was a quote, and it said, the next great economic growth wave will not come from the Internet or from China or from India, but will come from empowering women. And so right now, I think, really, this is the time for women. And so no better time than now to do an event that is, is, is women only. And there's something about getting a group of women together that are like-minded, that want to learn, that have similar dreams and aspirations, and really support one another and encourage you to go for, the, go for your dreams. And so that's going to be two and a half days in January. And the main focus, um, for those of people who are familiar with the Rich Dad philosophy, we talk about the four types of, of people in the world of business. So you have the employees, you have your self-employed people, they could be a, a shop owner, an accountant, a doctor, somebody that works for themselves. Then there's the business owner that owns a business, um, big business. Um, and then you have the investor. So we're going to be focusing not on the employee, self-employed people so much, but more the business owner and investor. And the difference is this, is it's all in the mindset. So the employee and the self-employed, their focus primarily is on acquiring income. They think about how to make more money, how do I acquire more income, but the business owner and investor, their focus is on acquiring assets. And of course, the rich dad definition of an asset is something that puts money in your pocket whether you work or not. So we're gonna, we're gonna work with women and we're gonna look at the different asset classes, what is best suited for them, and how, what, what's the plan for them to acquire the assets that they need to become financially secure in the days ahead. Boy, it's so, going to um, be uh, it's going to be an amazing time, and it happens uh, the last uh, part of January, January 29th to the 31st in beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona. What's the best way for someone to get more information about this event? Get signed up for it, Kim. Best way is to go to richwoman.com, and there's information on the on the website. Um, one other thing I'll say is the presenters that, are, that will be coming to this event are not professional speakers. <laughs> they're, they're people like, like you and me who are business people and investors, and this is what they do. They practice what they preach. Um, so they're just there because they want to share, they want to educate, um, and they want to support women being the, the magnificent women that they are. So, um, yes, just go to richwoman.com, and uh, all the information is there. Well, I know we have a lot of amazing women listeners, and uh, you need to check it out, richwoman.com. I know that Kim is going to put her heart and soul into this event. It's going to be extraordinary. Kim, thanks, as always, for uh, sharing uh, some of your words of wisdom with us, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the new year. Oh, thanks, Robert. Thank you, Russell. Have a great holiday, and uh, here's to 2010.